Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today we're taking a look at Latafa's Eclair. All right, so Eclair is from the house of Latafa. It's an eau de parfum concentration and you can pick this beauty up for $32 to $37 at places like Fragrance Fly and Perfume Online. Links will be down in the description if you decide you want to check this one out. Also some coupon codes. Save yourself five bucks off your first purchase at either one of those discounters if you decide you want to shop with them. We have ourselves a new release from Latafa. This one catered a little bit more to the ladies out there, but gentlemen, stick around. This could be a good gift idea for your significant other, or you just might like wearing this fragrance because who knows? Everyone's different out there. Presentation on this, a box presentation, pretty straightforward, but it does have kind of a unique design to this with this kind of, this drizzly kind of cutout that they have with the slide off cover that's there. But underneath we have a nice gold shimmery box, all the necessaries on the back, but Overall, typical cardboard box, but the bottle on this is quite interesting. Has that same sort of like drizzly, ooey, gooey, desserty style of kind of whatever you might call that drizzle, mimicking in the bottle in that gold. Cap on this, lightweight plastic on the top, but it does have the metal that's in the base there. So decent quality, it has some thickness to it. It won't break in my powerful hands. And the atomizer on this, really nice, nice long distribution, good puffs on this one. will definitely get the job done. So. Overall, for $32 to $37 presentation, really nice. So if you were wondering what Latafa's Eclair smells like, you've come to the right place, because I'm about to tell you. Some of the notes in this are caramel, milk, sugar, white floral, honey, vanilla, musk, and praline. So let me tell you what I get from this fragrance. In that opening, you just get hit right away with a very sweet, sugary style of caramel, a nice kind of lactonic, milky, silky milk that comes through, and little hints of that white floral. Just giving this a very desserty, delicious, gourmandy style of scent DNA to it. The caramel in this is very forward. You do get some vanilla that comes in from that base, but in that opening, what you're hit with the most is that caramel note and that nice kind of texture, that kind of lactonic note, the really sugary sort of milk that comes through and that caramel just sitting on top, really thick, dense, delicious style of caramel. The white floral in this is kind of what makes this more feminine leaning fragrance than it does kind of a unisex fragrance. I do find the white floral touch to this does lend itself to the ladies a little bit more so than the unisex or even to the gentleman. But again, guys out there, if you like yourselves a nice desserty style of fragrance, you might want to get your nose on this, but I do think this caters to the ladies out there. As you get towards the mid of this, a little bit more of that vanilla does come through and you get this nice praline note that comes through adds to that caramel but it, it accentuates the caramel but it also adds this nice little hint of some cotton candy sweetness that's there just really adding to that sweet profile and giving it that really gourmandy feel to it the honey in this kind of warms things up adds a nice thickness to things but it also gives it a bit of a powdery texture once you get towards that mid and especially once you get towards that dry down and then when you get to that dry down a little bit more of that musk comes through the vanilla comes forward a lot more so it's a nice balance between that caramel and that vanilla Touches that white floral around the edges with that kind of cotton candy praline caramel accentuation that's there as well. It still maintains that kind of lactonic creaminess from that milk note and it's just overall just sugary in general from those sweet accords. It's like a, like a, a caramel drizzled vanilla sugar cookie sitting in a garden of white florals is probably the best way to describe this fragrance. Absolutely alluring, delicious, comforting, cozy, just absolutely delicious smelling fragrance. And it's put together really well. I find with a lot of like gourmandy or sweet fragrances, it can have some screechy edges, like it can come across a little bit synthetic, just a little bit cloying, if you will, when, it's, when it has that really sweet accord. But I find the quality on this is very well done. It's very well blended and it's just doesn't have those screechy edges or that kind of that toothache inducing sort of sweetness. Just a really nice balance of those sweet notes and is put together really well. The quality on this is fantastic. Sexy, cozy, comforting absolutely delicious and if that sounds like something you're into you might want to check this one out so when it comes to the performance of Latafa's eclair this gets really a good performance i have worn this now for a bedtime fragrance about two or th two two nights three nights in a row just to kind of test this out for science for my audience out here so don't tell my gangster friends i've been wearing this very feminine leading gourmand fragrance but the performance on this is great projection on this for the first two hours it is pushing off a really good like room filling projection for that first couple hours and longevity on this is like 10 plus hours off skin no problem I spray this on at like seven o'clock at night wake up to go to the gym at like 5 a.m and I'm still smelling this I was getting whiffs of this when I was in the gym as well so the longevity on this just keeps going and going and the projection like I said for the first two hours 
really good. So if you're looking for what I would consider probably a beast mode gourmand style of fragrance, this is the one you're looking for. So when it comes to the where and when, I think Latafa's Eclair would be most appropriate. Definitely think this is a cool weather style of fragrance. A fall and winter time is definitely where this one's going to shine. Like I said earlier, it has that comforting, cozy, kind of warm, thick blanket of just delicious dessertiness all wrapped up into it. So I do think it does best in those cooler temperatures. And in terms of occasions, I think you can wear this as like an everyday style of fragrance, but this really lends itself to those kind of date nights, those evenings out formal occasions, it really has that kind of evening appeal, that really kind of sexy allure, that almost a mysteriousness of just like who smells like, like a dessert right now, just has that, that kind of enticing nature to it that I think evening is where this is just gonna absolutely shine. But like I said, very versatile across when you can wear this one. And like I said, seasons, cool weather for sure, that's where this one's gonna shine. So my overall thoughts on Latafa's Eclair. This is an absolutely delicious fragrance. Like I said, this is a female fragrance. This does lean far, like pretty far feminine. It's not necessarily like even a unisex fragrance, but for the dudes out there that enjoy a really nice gourmandy style of fragrance, this might be something you want to try out, but I do think this is absolutely gorgeous for the ladies out there. I would absolutely love to smell this on a lady. Just so sweet. It's one of the best gourmand fragrances I've smelled from La Taffa and probably in general. It's just an absolutely delicious fragrance. I love the caramel, vanillic, touch of cotton candy, a little bit of white floral that's in there, that milky, lactonic sort of nature that's in this one. Just absolutely mouth-watering, delicious, and like I said, comforting, cozy style of fragrance. I'm really digging the scent profile on this. This is actually a gift for my girlfriend. I bought this with the intention of reviewing it for you guys, but also giving it to her because I know she really likes vanilla fragrances and caramel gourmandy styles of fragrances. And I figured this one would be perfect. And your boy Poster's right. She's gonna absolutely love this one. Performance on this, like if you're into like strong fragrances that last a long time, this is gonna do the job for you. And for the fall and winter time, I think this is gonna be a go-to fragrance for a lot of ladies out there. So. Rave review, I think for $32, $37, this is a great pickup for the ladies out there. I think this is a great gift idea for the, the gentlemen out there looking to, to gift your special someone. I think bang for your buck, this is a fantastic fragrance. Latafa knocked it out of the park and I, I just, I got nothing more to say. Delicious fragrance, definitely worth checking out. That's Latafa's Eclair. And I want to hear from you guys. What are some of your favorite gourmand fragrances? Male, female, unisex, doesn't matter. Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love getting your different recommendations, your hidden gems, different tastes and scent profiles. Appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.